Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, I was I mentioned to you guys in the, uh, earlier in the show that I, I was alluding to something I'd love your opinion on. Um, announced yesterday that going forward for the next two years, houses owned uh, or houses bought or purchases of houses by foreigners will be banned. He tweeted the following, saying houses shouldn't sit empty when so many Canadians are trying to buy a home. So we're going to ban foreign ownership in Canada for the next two years and tax the existing vacant foreign-owned properties. Boom. As simple as that. I don't even think he used the full 280 characters. Obviously, there's much more policy behind this. I just, uh, the housing crisis in South Africa, in not, yeah, South Africa, but acutely in the Western Cape is driven very much by the, the factors he's talking about, but not on a cyclical two-year basis of like, you know, the pandemic or recently this became an issue. This would be something that I think would be a policy that would work very well for eight to 10, maybe even 15 years. For as long as the city is not focusing its energies on spatial planning, spatial reconstruction, it becomes a necessity. I mean, and, and I'm, I'm saying this from the perspective of not just an expensive house, the market is completely dislocated from the rest of the country. Completely. In terms of value for money. And honestly, standard of living is not that much better than the rest of the country. Um, They will argue service delivery is much better, but if you average it out across all neighborhoods, I'm not so sure about that. Um, and it and it does it does seem as though there needs to be some kind of a handbrake on a train that has run away from us. There are so many properties standing empty. It's an Airbnb town, and it's not just here. It's nice now. It's plate, but they don't mind being surrounded by shanties. Shanties filled with people who must service these houses, by the way, or or sit in traffic for hours in order to do so. I just uh, yeah. So I think it was a very interesting and bold move. I like it. I haven't cut through all the numbers for a South African context or a Cape Town context, but I think it would be a very interesting investigation to undertake. And I feel quite strongly about that. Breakfast with Rifilo Emolato on Cape Talk.